Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bo with Designs by Bo. I want to thank you guys for checking out another one of my videos. My aim with this channel is to teach you guys these simple yet effective tricks that I've learned working with Inkscape over the last couple years. Uh, this is my first video that I've done with the new Inkscape, Inkscape 1.0, I think it is. Um, I just wanted to Again, thank you guys for stopping by. I'd like to ask a favor if you guys could please watch the videos all the way through and please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Can't do it without you guys. So I try to give you good content. That way you um, have a lot of things to check out on my channel. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. And let's get into this video. In this video, I'll show you how to make a heart in Inkscape. First things first, we're going to start with the Create Circles, Ellipses, and Arcs tool. Click on that, and then we're going to hit Control and then drag a circle. Doesn't matter how big it is, and about this size. Holding Control and dragging will keep your circle. Um, the same size in both directions, so you have a full uniform 360 circle. Next thing we're going to do is take that circle and hit Control D to duplicate it. And you'll see the screen flash notating that there is a duplicate circle. And what we want to do is I'm going to change the, the new circle to a red color. Then I'm going to hold shift and then click and drag that I'm sorry control and then click and drag that over just about till um, both edges touch at about a fourth of the way and what I'm looking for is this divot in the middle um, in the middle of the two circles where the two circles meet at the top here once I have it the pretty much where I want it then I'm going to hit hold down shift and then while one is selected holding shift allows you to select other objects at the same time so both of the uh, boxes are boundary bounding on both shapes so they're both selected and what I want to do is join them together as one object so to do that you just hit control plus and now you have one object and you have what looks like um, equivalent to the um, MasterCard logo. And now that we have that, I'm going to make this into, turn this shape into red. Now that we have our heart shape, we're going to come over to the side and get our Bezier curves and straight line tool click on that next what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the lower fit of this shape and we want to click to start a line at the edge of the circle and then we want to come over again roughly in the same height and click on the other end of the shape then we want to come down and just between where the two shapes join we're going to click again and then come up and we're going to click here to join that together at this point we have an outline shape of a triangle and what I like to do is make it black click on the black color down at the bottom and then um, hold shift and click the uh, X here so that it takes the um, the outline off of the shape. Now what we're going to do is do a little bit of adjustment. So at this point you want to click on the uh, edit paths by nodes tool so that we can edit the nodes for this. And you're going to hold down control and I use control and scroll the mouse or you can simply just do a um, zoom function 
but I'm hitting holding control and scrolling up on the mouse to get um, to zoom in and what I the reason for zooming in is I want to get this as close as possible to the curve of this shape so that we can make it actually line up perfectly along the line so I'm gonna take I'm gonna use the select and transform tool and I'm just going to take this shape click on it and drag it down till if you can see the edge here where the tip of it is and all around here you want to have this touch the edge of the circle here at the same time hiding all of the red behind it so you're going to drag it and then overlap this point and to see better just scroll in as much as possible so you have to play with the circle just a little bit to get it to work the way you want it and sometimes your angle is a little bit steep so bringing that in a little sometimes help to get the right angle and there we go so now that we have the angle on this side we're going to this is okay if there's just a little bit of space is we can work with that just we'll just drag it over just a tiny bit till it gets to the edge and if you can see it's covering most of that edge and see where the curve is that'll blend in with the shape so you want it to get as close to the edge of both the circle and the triangle as at the same time and then on the other side we're going to just do the same thing we're going to drag this over till we get it just about on that edge and to see if we got it we just scroll in scroll up and down so that you can see and it's right on that edge and now that you have that all you do since the triangle is selected you're going to hold shift click on the rest of the shape and we're simply going to hit control and plus to join these two objects together and there you have a perfect heart perfect heart shape that you can do anything you guys would like to do with I'd like to thank you guys for watching another one of my videos I hope that you guys watch the video all the way through and please stop at this moment please take the time out and subscribe to the channel it's a set it and forget it thing so it doesn't cost you anything um, it helps me a lot if you guys subscribe helps me to uh, get my get to my goals um, as well as allowing you guys to be notified when I have new videos I haven't been posting a lot of videos because the feedback that I've been getting from my videos I am very grateful for it but the time that it takes to do these videos and my busy lifestyle I need the subscriber count to build up and the uh, interaction to build up a little more for me to pump out a lot of videos to make it worth my while to do this on a continual regular basis I mean I will continue to do these videos for you guys but they won't be as much as if I had the support as long as I get support for videos I'll continue to do this um, all this is just things that I just learned by playing with the program there's nobody that taught me no school or anything I just like to get my hands on things and just tinker with them until I figure out what is what so that's what I did and that's where my knowledge comes from just hands-on um, using this for business purposes and things that I do to make a living so I've taken my time to invest in helping you guys to learn the things that I've learned so that you can use this thing hopefully for a hobby or even to make money with so thank you guys this is Bo designed by Bo subscribe and I'll see you on the next one